Well, hey there, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com, and what I want to do today is show you how you can create a wintry scene like this one right here, meaning you can add snow to just about any scene. Here's another shot with this effect being added. Now I'm gonna turn it off. You can see that's how it looks before, which still looks fine, but if we wanted it to look like it was snowing, we could just add this simple effect. Same thing here, let me turn this off. We've got a nice winter shot. We can turn the snow on, and then we have it looking like the snow is coming down in the scene. Okay, so how do you do it? I'm gonna show you how to create this with just a few simple steps. Now, if you're a club member and you're watching this, I've already created an action that you can download for free inside the club in the free template section. So if you're a member, just head on over there and log in and uh, you'll have access to this. But for those of you that aren't a club member, let me show you how you can create this yourself. All right, so let me just delete this. And I'm gonna start right from scratch. All right, so just gonna make sure that I'm on my pointer tool. I'm gonna create a new layer. So go layer, new, and then select layer. You can title this anything you want. I'm gonna title it snow. So from here, I'm just going to make sure that my foreground is black, okay? Just click on that. And then from there, go to my paint bucket. I'm gonna drop it in this layer, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is go to filter, I'm gonna to go to noise, and then I'm gonna to go to add noise. All right, and I'm gonna use 200, around 200, 200.05, whatever, close enough. 200, Gaussian blur, and then uh, monochromatic is going to be checked. Select okay, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is go to filter, and then blur, and then Gaussian blur again. And I'm gonna leave this at like two pixels, all right? Select okay. Then what I'm gonna do is go to my levels. I'm gonna go to image, I'm gonna to go to adjustments and then levels. And then from here, I'm going to bring this up and this is where it's really gonna determine the amount of snow, okay? How much is visible and you'll see what I mean in a minute. But if I bring this up to about 100, okay? Right about there. And this one here, I'm gonna to bring to about, oh, uh, well, actually on this one here, I'm gonna go 0.78, I think that was the one I like to use, yeah. And then this one here, I'm gonna bring up to, uh, we'll do 167, okay? So right here, we've got 100, 0 0.78, and then 167, okay? And then from there, select okay. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is go to, not actually the last thing, the last thing in this particular section is uh, go to filter, and then blur, and then motion blur. All right, we're gonna add a minus 57 to the angle. Now you can adjust this any way you want, but you can see that the snow is coming down at a sidewards angle. Okay, you could have it come down more straight if you wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna go and uh, do the minus 57. Distance is 10 pixels, all right? And then from there, just hit okay. Now the last thing you're gonna do before we see the snow on our scene is just go to the layer, uh, the layer palette go to the layer mode and go to screen. And then there we go, we have our snowy scene. Now, a lot of times it looks maybe a little bit too much on the faces, so that's very easy to adjust. First off though, if you wanna lessen the, this effect, you can just go to the opacity and then just bring this down a little bit. I'm gonna bring it down to about 80. And then what I'm gonna do, there's a couple different ways you can do this, but you can just go to your eraser tool right here, and then I'm gonna make sure that my brush is all the way down so it's not hard, it's got a soft edge. And then from there, I'm just going to, and also my other thing I should point out, the opacity is at 49%. And then from there, I'm just gonna lightly touch over top of them, okay? Not erasing at all, but just some. And then from there, I can turn it on and off and you can see what we have. Uh, the other thing you can do if you really wanna uh, have it even heavier, you can duplicate that layer. Just layer, duplicate layer, and then you can see we have even a heavier snow. Now that might be too much, you could also adjust the opacity on this one if you wanted to, all right? Let me just turn that off though, or delete that one for now, for this example. But I did the exact same thing with this example here. And you can see we have a totally different look. Now I created an action, like I said, inside of our club. So let me just show you how this would work. Now, if you wanna create your own action, go right at it. You know, just, just follow the steps I just did and just record an action. But here's how it would look if you had an action. Just basically make sure that it's loaded. This one here, I have a heavy snow because I have a light snow as well. Heavy snow, have that selected, and then just click play. And then you're gonna see it's gonna instantly do what I just did on all those steps. And then here, I'm just gonna go into the layers uh, palette, drop this down to about 80, and then I'm gonna also make sure that my uh, 
my uh, eraser here is selected and then just lightly touch over top of their faces and that's it. All right, so there you have it. That's how you create a wintry, snowy scene easily inside of Photoshop. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I've definitely enjoyed making it for you. If you want more information about our Digital Creations Club where you can create images like this using digital backgrounds and props, head over to newportraitbiz.com forward slash club and you'll see everything that we have to offer over there. I really, really hope that you use this. I hope you enjoy it and I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.